All right, so today I'm trying to find out where my radiator is leaking. If it's the radiator or if it's the hose. Because sure enough, right after I finished painting the Jeep, put everything back together, I started up, pulled it out in the driveway, and I had a leak. And I saw it coming from here, but I don't know if it's the hose or if it's the top. Usually these radiators, the leak over here where the crimp is, where plastic meets the aluminum. Um, my only concern is this radiator looks fairly new. I know the previous owner said he put a new radiator in at some point. So I hate to think this radiator went already, but we'll start it up and find out. So, crisis averted. Turns out it's not the radiator. It is, or it was, the radiator hose up top. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Not that it really needs much, much explanation, but uh, I thought it was leaking here at the crimp, right there, just because of prior experiences I had with my TJ. My TJ actually leaked right here at this crimp and had to replace the radiator. And I know that's very common on these uh, these inexpensive radiators. So I just assumed it was that. But after snugging up this hose, what I did, I just loosened it, snugged it up. Um, you can see the, that's where the, the uh, worm clamp was. Um, previously, I just slid it forward more, tightened it down, and no leak. Turns out my lower hose had the same exact problem. As I went underneath, I saw a small drip coming from that. And that same thing, I just loosened it, slung it up, tightened it up. I'm thinking that the hoses were never rechecked after the previous owner put in this radiator because this radiator is fairly new. Um, and he did tell me that he replaced it recently. I don't know how recent it is, but who knows? Maybe he installed it and then never went back and checked on the hoses. You know, they do expand and contract with the heating and cooling. Uh, so maybe they just work themselves loose. So... That's a big relief. I'm happy that it was just a loose hose, both top and bottom, and I don't have to pull the radiator. Not that it's a big deal, but just, you know, I get to save myself 100 bucks or so and don't have to pull the radiator. So, lesson learned, don't just assume and check all your hoses. So, easy fix and, you know, common sense. So, thanks for tuning in, and now I finally get to drive it because it's been sitting around so long me doing the uh, painting it and prepping it and now you get to have fun driving. Cool beans. All right, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe somewhere there where I'll put the link and uh, stay tuned for, for next, next project on this. 89 Jeep Wrangler. Thanks.